Great center matchup down low tonight. Chris, today's centers are so skilled. You helped pave the way for that. Oh, thank you, D.A. Uh, but it's also because of the spacing. I mean, uh, today it seems like there's more great passing big men than ever. But that's also because of the shooting, the spacing on the floor, and the talent of these guys. And, and very honestly, watching those that came before them and taking them to another level. Now the starting group for the visitors. Out to the wing. Let's a floater go. He can't get it to go. To the left side wing. And no good. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Blocked! And they get it back. Second chance shot. And he takes it up and lays it in. Just five on the clock. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Good on the shot. The turnaround. And that's a terrific move to have a feel for. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Tipped away from deep. The shot comes out. Gone two of four so far. To the inside from 13. Doesn't go that time. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. He gives up a lot of size to most other power fours, but not too many of them can fly like he can. Over to the left wing. No good with a jumper from the wing. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Oh, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. To the wing on the left. From the arc. Counted from distance. He has seven. Oh, he must have had a good warm-up because he's hot. I mean, he's three for four already. And we're only getting started. Second chance effort. No good that time. He's forcing things a little bit in this quarter. Settling for shots that he'd be better off passing up. Driving to the basket. Good on the bucket. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. It takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Gotten five of seven shots to fall. Fast break. Here we go. And he lays it in off the breakaway. And you can tell they're in sync right now. Expertly turning the steal into fast break points. Misses off the left iron. 
gone four of ten shooting the rock in this first quarter. Down low. Out left to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. It doesn't go for him. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. To the left wing. Lays it up and in, despite excellent defense. Oh, they've tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in the system. To the paint. Off with the layup. Shooting right around 42% on the first. Out to the wing. A quick shot there. It's off target. Going inside. Got a hand on it. And here's the fast break. A shot to stop the drought. And can't get it. He's now one of three. In transition. Here they come. Got a piece of it. And he stays with it. They shoot again. And the ball ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. Chance to take the lead. Knocks it loose. And they're running. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Shot clock at six. From behind the arc. And it goes out of bounds following the shot. So it's the home team now. They trail by one. Ooh, hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. He has six. Gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Oh, they need this. Blocked. And that bucket makes him four for seven today. Good production. 
He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Takes one from 10 feet, and it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Can't hit from in close. No question who's in control of the board so far. Here's the three. And he missed there. Four for eight shooting now so far. Gone 0 for 2 from outside. To the middle. Picked it out of midair. Inside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. At the line for the away team. Two shots. Off on the first. No good on the second free throw. short but it's good off the front iron 10 points for him he's putting on a show this quarter and the team's feeding off his energy the three is up he can't get that one to fall and the defense got away with one there I mean that's the shot he typically makes the shot off that time gone one for five from deep in this first struggling from that area Launches a three, and the three-pointer goes. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And it's blocked. Goes back up. We've got 1.23 left in the first quarter of the game. Right wing. To the middle. Oh, deflected. They grabbed their own miss. And that one hits the back iron. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. That one goes in. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him, trying to push out that lead. Out left to the wing. To the inside. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Over to the left wing to end the run. Pure from three-point range. But the D didn't do a good enough job on him. He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Hits again. Seven for 13 and looking confident. Tremendous individual play. I mean, challenging the heart of that defense. With two seconds left. And that does it for the first quarter. Up by seven. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. just joining us we played through one quarter in this one and from what we've seen here from the home team what's your take so far 
Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. Yeah, they're clawing, they're grinding, they're doing anything they could to make the most of their possessions. So it's the home team now. Seven point differential. Low. Let's it go from 14. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Just what they wanted from that possession. A quality look in tight. To the wing, right side. to the right wing six to shoot the three is up that's miss number seven out of 14 attempts can't hit the free throw line jumper in transition and here they go Fades and shoots. Shots blocked. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. That one falls. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Nineteen footer. Shot is off. Shooting seven for fifteen. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Just four to shoot. Jacks up a three. He's off on that one. Knowing the kind of competitor he is, I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. And there's the rejection. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Boy, it's been a tough game for him offensively. His effort level is there. You, you can't blame him on that. He's working to get good shots. It's just not connected. They'll get another chance. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. Gets the 14-footer to fall. He's got 11. Gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Ooh, ripped away. And he gets that one. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. To the right side. Clock at six. Trying to get back on track. It's deflected. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Well, at the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. 
Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know what? I, I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who really read the floor, they understand and can pick apart defenses time out, time out. in any position, those two are ones that stick out the most. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. shot off target at the rim gotten over 50 percent of their shots to go five for nine in the second oh got that one up quick 18 points for him after a cold first quarter they brought up their field goal percentage trying to build out this lead now there's the block if his performance this quarter is any indication i don't think he's the one who's gonna let them out of the hole Fires the three. He buries it from three. He's got 21. His three-point game is heating up. That's his second three of the quarter. Third overall. Shot clock at five. Can they get it? And he missed again. Now one of five. To the paint. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. They've been a more cohesive team over this stretch, and that helps account for their lead. the left rim and in. They're starting to pull away here as their shots keep falling. And now it's looking like it's gonna be their night. I mean, the lead keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Looking to get back on track. Misses from close range. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with the results. Down low. There's the drive. He goes up again, and he lays it up and in. His field goal percentage is creeping up there now. I mean, it wasn't pretty in the first quarter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. But he avoids the block thanks to the fadeaway. Quick thinking and great touch. Oh, it's stolen. And here they come. Set up, set up. Yo, yo, right here, right here. Oh, they get a hand on it. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Six to shoot. Shot from the wing. That one drops for him. 18 points for him. And there's some nice chemistry on offense. They're just taking what the defense allows. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. It's blocked.
from nine feet out. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Another miss. Two for nine so far. Gone two of four from beyond the arc in the second quarter. Unloads from 13. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Over to the wing. The three-pointer off the mark. A scoreless quarter for him. I mean, can, you can see by his body language that he's getting discouraged. Stripped it away. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is good. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop. And then you gave it right back. Five on the clock. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. That's 29 for him. They've really gotten away from the three-point shot as they've pulled out in front. A minute 22 left in the first half of basketball. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. He's got six. He makes so many hustle plays, and, and here he's working the offensive glass from the tip to the middle. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Look, he may not be thought of as big for a center, but with his ability to go vertical, he sure plays big. 18 feet out. The shot no good. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. There's <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. <laughs> And he knocks down the first one. Both good from the line that time. Shooting only 31% in the game. It's tipped! 30 seconds left to play in the second quarter. the drive the second effort and he sinks the layup give him eight points now and you have to appreciate the heart they've shown on the offensive boards this quarter chalk up two there well, he's not going to back off when he's down I mean, when he's got a chance to attack the basket one second left oh he beats the buzzer just in time wow big time bucket i'll tell you great clock management there he's showing he has the ability to hit huge shots that's gotta fire him up a dominating first half of play and so far it hasn't been close leading by 17 and join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half it's the 2k sports halftime show Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. 
checking out the visiting team. Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into play. Fantastic shot selection. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They're not shooting it well so far. Actually, they're not terrible. But fellas, I got an idea for them. Feed the post. Let the big man eat. Jeez. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Four on the clock. Inside. The layup off target. Doing it well. Almost 50% from the floor. And the three off target. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. From deep three-point range, the shot misses. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. Oh, we see a lot of this now. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. From 15 feet away, and he can't bank that one in. They've been unable to hit anything this half. Three attempts and three misses. And the basket is good. The size advantage gives them a clear path to the shot. Gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Fires it from 18. Good on the jump shot. And that's got to be a relief. Finally getting something to go here in the second half. This one for three. On target from range. He's got 36 points. And, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy. And so far, it's paying off in this game. And just wasn't able to set up in time. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Get open, get open. Get open, get open. Get open. Get open. Get Just five to shoot. The shot. No good. Tight defense there. Bothered that shot. They're having trouble getting going here in the second half. I mean, that's their fourth miss in five attempts. Hey, yo. Right here. Shoot that. Shoots from 12. That shot is off. Gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Four, three. No luck on that one. Gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Fires for three. No good. 
And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Oh, great instincts, relentless. Seems like he's getting to every miss. Takes the three. That shot off. Gone two of five in this third quarter. To the left side wing. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Foul. First team foul. At the line for the away team. At the line for two. That one's off. That's off as well, so he misses both. And that one's good. He's got 10. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Off the mark, and the drought continues. This has not been his best quarter. Oh, just off his game, forcing a few shots, not letting the game come to him naturally. And they pick up two. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. at six shoots he hits the back iron and sinks it gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third can't connect from short range got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter Down to five on the shot clock. Releases. And the ball goes out of play. Unable to keep it in. Home team ball. Coming out of the floor for your home team. Off the inbound, no good. Gone just one of three from deep since the break. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Six on the shot clock. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation.
launches it. First team foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Into the lineup for your home team. To the inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. He has six. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Five to shoot. Let's the three fly. Gets the three to fall. The switch flipped for him at halftime. Not a single point in the first half. All of a sudden, he's come alive. To the paint. To the wing on the left. I see him. I see him. 13 feet out. And the jumper is good. It's all about the tail of the tape right there. I mean, his size advantage makes that jump shot easy pickings. Puts it up from 15. Misses off the right iron. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Out to the wing. No good on the three. Gotten only one three-pointer to fall here in the third. Five attempts. And it's rejected. They recover it. Tries again. Yep, count it. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. Yeah, the defender just couldn't quite close the gap all the way and got burned for it. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. You know, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. on the clock again with the block swatting shots away with ferocity he is not messing around in this one takes a three drills it from deep Give him eight points now. And there's 138 left in the third. Knocked loose. Here we go. Over to the left wing. Clock at six. Let's it go from deep. Sends it home from three-point land. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. And they're on the run. Two points. That one goes. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. Inside. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! That's a tough bucket. 
D was right up on him as tight as possible. But you're not going to stop this guy from getting to the cup. The putback. That shot off the mark. Gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. With one on the clock. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Yeah, great job of getting a look before the horn sounded and gaining some momentum. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Second chance shot. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And that's a backbreaker for the defense. I mean, offensive boards like that run momentum against you. Yeah, and it's an excuse. But all too common. Basketball one-on-one. -on -one. The shot goes up, put a body on someone. And that one misses. Shooting about 35% so far in this game. And he drives in. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The officials were right on top of that one. Taking two shots. That free throw misses. He's off on the second. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. The shot from the low post is good. He's got 38. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Shot clock at six. Let's it go from the wing, and it's good. Off the back rim and in. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Into the lane, and yep, that's going to be a flagrant one. Unnecessary contact. He might be lucky just to get a flagrant one there. Lots of contact on that play, and the officials could have gone with a more severe call. Well, he better be on his best behavior from this point forward. One more flagrant of any kind, and he's out of this game. Good on that one. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time.
The visitors with the ball. 13-point lead. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Just five to shoot. From deep. The shot won't fall. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. And there's the rejection. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. 16 feet out. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Who poked away. Takes it inside. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. That'll shoot two. Shooting for the home team. At the line for two. First one falls. He makes one or two that time. Here he goes. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. Gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. And it ends up out of bounds. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. The home team on D. It's stolen away. It is fourth turnover of the game. That's not a number to be proud of. Tipped. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Six to shoot. From deep. Knocked away. And unable to corral the miss as it goes out of play. They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. And B.A., they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Oh, great D on that shot, and it's off the mark. Gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Shot to end the cold streak. Can't get the layup. Shooting around 33%, not the best offensive efficiency. Drives to the hoop. No good with a layup. Gone 2 for 7 from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Out left to the wing. Shot clock at six. Tries it from 19. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in.
for three. The shot, no good. Look, the more threes he misses, I mean, the more he wants to tank. Where they do that at? <laughs> That's not the right mindset. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. <laughs> They've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. Got a hand on it. Miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Got a piece of it. Misses from short range. There's the triple. The shot, no good. Things can turn around in a hurry. I mean, can't they? Last quarter, he was lights out. All of a sudden, nothing's dry. That one goes. Count it. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Down low. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. To the middle. And he banks in the layup. 30 points in the game. Well, just think what the score would be if it weren't for him. I mean, he's been amazing. But a one-man show isn't going to get you a win in the league. Six on the shot clock. Cuts off the pass. And they're on the break. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Taking two shots. He makes a first. That one falls, so he hits both of them. That's what they want to see from him, attacking, getting whistles, and maybe causing some foul trouble.
The steal. Three-pointer, no good. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Driving inside. Can't get it to drop. And even though he's gone ice cold, he keeps shooting. Now it's late enough in the game for him to recognize her. <laughs> and this is a better option. Down low. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. To the paint. Clock at six. Puts up a three. Hits the trifecta. And he's got 41 now. If they close this win out, I know who my MVP is. His offensive performance tonight has been unreal. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Some bad shot selection, as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. The head coach of the home team had some words for his team over the break. He went after his players about their poor defense in the paint, saying, quote, you're showing no fight down there. You're letting them get any shot they want, and they're feasting on us. Show some toughness and push back, guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. So it's the home team now. Six on the shot clock. Buries it from three. Gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Perfectly for the layup. Well, doesn't have to break stride at all thanks to the money lead pass. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Shooting for the home team. At the line for two. Two shots. Pass on the first. He drops the first one, and that brings him within five. And so he makes both from the line. As confident as it gets at the line. He wants to be up there in a tight ball game. Fires in the triple. Shooting the ball at only 35% here in the fourth quarter. Count it. He's got 38. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. This is why they go to him in these spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the stretch. Shot 
Shot clock at six. Let's go with a three. Knocks down the triple. Gone one for five from downtown here in the fourth. Driving in. Oh, oh don't do oh, that to him. Oh, my goodness. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. And now we've got an intentional foul. Second personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the away team. Taking two shots. The first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. And he's able to hit the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. There's 42 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Not going to go that time. There's the three. That shot missing. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Oh, well, it's tough, man. When you get to this point in the game, you fought hard, did your best, but just wasn't enough. The visiting club takes the win on the road. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. For Ali LaForce, Chris Weber, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you later.